Nigeria's Vice President Professor Yemi Osinbavo has assured foreign investors that the current administration would do all it can to put strategies and business policies in place towards achieving economic development. Speaking at a one-day second capital market stakeholders forum in Abuja, Osinbavo, who was represented by the Director General of the Debt Management Office, Mrs. Patient Sony had maintained that the federal government's policies had so far encouraged the ease of doing business in Nigeria. VP said, FG has outlined the policy initiatives to include economic recovery and growth plan ERGP unprecedented investments in capital projects in the past three years, tax incentives and the ease of doing business. He stressed that policies had attracted some foreign investors in various segments of the country, insisting that the economy was diversifying with geometric growth in business activities. Financial markets are known to be engines of growth because of the strategic role they play in the flow of funds to businesses and governments. There is extensive literature on the fact that there is a strong positive correlation between the level of development of the financial system and economic development, for the simple reason that financial markets act as intermediaries between lenders and borrowers. While this correlation is certainly the case for the advanced market economies, the same cannot be said for Nigerian capital market in the areas of legislations, regulations, technology and B products amongst others which have attracted local and foreign investors to the market and I would like to commend the regulators and operators alike for these achievements. There is, however, room for innovation, increased depth and efficiency of the capital market and this represents an opportune time for these to begin to occur in anticipation of increased and more sophisticated demand for capital market products. He also charged experts in the subsector to come up with various innovations that will provide opportunities for small and medium-scale businesses to access required funds for growth. Whilst deliberating on big businesses, I hope that creative ways for enabling small and medium businesses to access capital will also be considered as they have a great potential for growth, job creation and effective source of local resources, he said. On the role of the private sector, Osambaho urged them to take advantage of government incentives of improved business environment, given the large and diverse resource base of Nigeria including its entrepreneurial human resources, adding that the demand for capital will increase perhaps, well beyond the current levels. The VP also expressed optimism that the forum will come up with workable ideas on how the Nigerian capital market can become a reliable source of large pools of stable funds that can be readily assessed by local and international institutions seeking to do business in Nigeria is highly commendable. Speaking through his representative and Deputy House Whip, Pali Arias, Speaker Yukobu Dogera reiterated the commitment of the 8th Assembly towards the growth and development of the capital market. He disclosed further, saying that the National Assembly has so far delivered some of the legislative actions enunciated in their communique issued at the Maiden Capital Market Stakeholders Forum held in June, 2016. He said, it is instructive to note that the National Assembly has recorded relevant milestones that is expected to drive the operations of Nigeria's capital market. These include, passage of demutualization bill, ongoing amendment of Karma Act, public hearing held on the amendment of relevant sections of Investment and Securities Act, 2007, review of the warehouse receipts and other related bills, arbitration and conciliation bill, ports and harbour bill, Nigerian roads fund bill, CISI bill, railway bill, legislative intervention through public hearings on, downward tree of the capital market, bonds, securities and private placement and other related bill are at advanced stages of legislative action.